All right, we're going to let Coach kick it off. Hey, hey guys, I appreciate you being on. Um, obviously, tough, tough road game. Uh, yeah, just uh, tough down the stretch. Uh, one play away. And, uh, you know, got to give credit. Um, Holtman and Ohio State, they're tough and physical. Um, I thought we played well. I thought we made plays down the stretch. Um, but we executed when we needed to. Um, just, you know, didn't get that, I guess, that last stop. I thought he kind of went out of bounds. I'm not, not sure. Um, but they hit a huge three and, you know, won, won the game. Jerry, you can kick it off. Steve, two two questions about the last six seconds. Could you could you take us through the mindset of fouling up three? And also, have you been shown a definitive photo of the foot of the a player's foot on the sideline in the last second? I mean, I haven't, Jerry, so I don't know anything about that. I thought it was because he was right in front of me, but I haven't. Um, you know, but um, you know, I just thought you know with with our three point lead right there, you know, just just get them to not be able to heave up a three, you know, with that little time left on the clock. And, uh, you know, we we got what we wanted. Uh, we got to the free throw line and we just didn't, you know, kind of finish the deal. But, uh, you know, just just disappointing, but I have not seen any photos of, of anything. Brian? Steve, losing on the last second is, yeah, is hurtful in any way, but to do it in a, when it looks like the guy stepped out of bounds, how much more is that? How much more painful does that does that make it? Um, again, I um, yeah, I mean, you know, really, you know, because we're talking about different things here. But you know, my team they fight. They you know proud of them, you know, and and you know we've won games like this. But you know, just a tough way to lose. But again, it's life here in the Big Ten, and, and you know, I gotta give them credit. They made one more play, but I'm not sure about you know. The sideline thing, I thought he clearly was, but again, I didn't see anything. Aaron Brightman. Coach, uh, what was the biggest difference in Cliff's turnaround from the first half to the second half in terms of uh, any adjustments or? Well, I mean, I just thought, you know, we got him the ball. He stopped turning the ball over. You know, he had four turnovers in the first half. Zed Key is a problem. He's a really good player. Um, he had a great first half. Cliff had a great second half. You know, I, I like my team a lot, and, and you know, I think they make adjustments. I mean, we played our hearts out. Every guy came in and gave us something, but, uh, again, just, you know, 1.1 1 .1 possession short here, and life on the road in this league is, is not is not fun. Jerry. Steve, did you get an explanation from the official about the player being out of bounds? What did they say about it? No, I, I I didn't get any explanation, Jerry. I just you know, it was right in front of me. So, yeah. And what do you what do you say to your team after a game like this? You know, it's tough right now. Jerry, the game just finished five seconds ago. They played their hearts out. So, you know, it's on me. I got to do a you know better job, and you know, we got to turn this. You, you know around and, and hopefully the ball will bounce our way one of these games. Aaron Brightman. Uh, Coach, wanted to ask about Cam Spencer, uh, the w impact he made on this game. I mean, he was really good, made plays. I mean, he's a good player. I mean, obviously, you know, Paul, having him back, you know, changes a lot of things for us. Um, and moves Cam to another spot where he's able to do some more things. Uh, but, you know, I really thought, you know, we executed down the stretch. We made big baskets. Um, even the play, Andre teed it up from three. Um, Paul threw him a great pass. You know, Cam made plays. I just, uh, you know, just disappointed for our guys. That it's a tough place to play here and to have a chance, you know, to, to win it. It was just very difficult. Brian? Uh, Steve said he had a pretty big first half, seemed to be a big uh, a match of problem for you guys, and then you tampered him in the second half. I guess what made him so tough to stop in the first half, and what did you guys change to kind of clamor him down a bit? Well, I mean, he's good, and he's the leading offensive rebounder in our league, and he really got on the glass. You know, I thought our turnovers in the first half really hurt, hurt us and helped them. Um, 
you know, we just did a better job with our physicality. We did a better job of blocking out. We just did a better job, um, you know, down the, down the stretch of, of taking him off the glass and keeping him out of those comfortable positions that he likes on the court. Uh, but, you know, he's good. He's good, and, and you can only contain him for so long. Jerry? Steve, uh, Caleb looked destroyed at the end. For everything he's done and meant for this program, what do you what do you say to a kid like that after an ending like that? Yeah, I mean Caleb was the best. So like you know we we've been here before. These kids are tough and resilient. Caleb's a terrific player. Um, you know to think six weeks ago he wasn't practicing. You know, but um, these kids are tough. So we'll, we'll bounce back. We got a lot more season to go, and uh, hopefully we'll get one of these back by a point. And is there something to be gained from in the film room showing your team how they came back from down 11 on the road, how they matched Ohio State's physicality? Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll make those decisions. we got a quick turnaround here uh, for our next game. And, and, you know, our guys really do a good job learning from film. So we'll, we'll try to take what we can out of it and do a better job, you know, you know, down the stretch. All right, guys, is that it? Yes, thank you. Thanks, thank you all. Guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate you being on. Thanks, Steve.